Now we'll move on to discuss the arteries and veins of the trunk region of the body. The following image shows the arterial branches from the thoracic and abdominal aorta. The thoracic aorta passes down through the chest behind the heart. At the level of the diaphragm, there is a superior phrenic artery and the inferior phrenic artery. Just inferior to the diaphragm is the celiac trunk, the splenic artery, and the common hepatic artery. The abdominal aorta eventually divides into the right and left common iliac arteries. In the abdominal region, there is a superior mesenteric and inferior mesenteric arteries that supply the intestines. The common iliac artery eventually divides into an internal and external iliac. The descending aorta. The descending aorta is divided by the diaphragm into the thoracic aorta superior to the diaphragm and the abdominal aorta. The thoracic aorta extends from the fifth thoracic vertebrae until the twelfth at the diaphragm. The thoracic aorta supplies blood to the viscera of the thorax the thoracic portion of the spinal cord, and the muscles of the chest and diaphragm. The small arteries that stem from the thoracic aorta are the bronchial arteries, which supply the bronchial passageways, the pericardial arteries, which supply blood to the pericardium, the mediastinal arteries, which deliver blood to the structures in the mediastinum. The abdominal aorta begins immediately superior to the diaphragm. The superior phrenic and inferior phrenic arteries supply blood to the diaphragm itself and the inferior portion of the esophagus. The abdominal aorta extends from the inferior surface of the diaphragm to the fourth lumbar vertebra, where it then divides into the left and right common iliac arteries. All the organs and structures in the abdominal and pelvic cavities are supplied with blood from the abdominal aorta. The arteries that branch from the abdominal aorta. These arteries are divided into three unpaired and five paired arteries. The unpaired arteries are the celiac trunk, the superior and inferior mesenteric arteries. The celiac trunk delivers blood to the stomach, liver, and pancreas. The superior mesenteric artery supplies the pancreas, duodenum, small intestine, and most of the large intestine. The inferior mesenteric supplies the terminal portions of the colon and the rectum. There are five pairs of arteries, the inferior phrenic, the suprarenal arteries, which supply the suprarenal glands on top of the kidneys, the renal arteries, which arise along the posterior lateral surface of the abdominal aorta and supply the kidneys, the gonadal arteries, these supply blood to the testes and scrotum in male and the ovaries and the uterus in the female, and the lumbar arteries. The lumbar arteries supply blood to the vertebrae, spinal cord, and the abdominal wall. The arteries of the pelvis. Blood is brought into the pelvic region through the common iliac artery, which then divides into an internal and external iliac. From this is the iliolumbar and the middle femoral circumflex arteries. The abdominal aorta divides into the left and right common iliac arteries at the level of the fourth lumbar vertebra. These arteries deliver blood to the pelvis and the lower limbs. Each common iliac divides into an internal and external iliac at the lumbosacral joint. The internal iliac delivers blood to the organs and structures in the pelvic cavity, such as the bladder, internal and external walls of the pelvis, and the external genitalia. The external iliac artery supplies blood to the lower limbs and as it passes the pubic symphysis it becomes the femoral artery of the lower limb. The veins in the trunk region of the body. Similar to the arterial side there's an internal and external iliac vein and these drain blood into the common iliac. The kidneys are drained by the left and right renal veins, and the liver by the hepatic vein. This blood is delivered into the inferior vena cava and eventually into the right atrium of the heart. 
the blood from the head, neck, and upper body is returned to the heart through the superior vena cava. The superior vena cava receives blood from the subclavian vein, brachiocephalic vein, and the vertebral vein. Blood from the thoracic region of the body is delivered to the superior vena cava through the internal thoracic veins, the azygous veins, and the hemiazygous veins. The azygous veins and the hemiazygous veins are the chief collecting veins of the thorax. The venous blood flow of the abdomen. Blood returning to the heart from the lower limbs is drained into the left and right common iliac veins. The left and right internal iliac veins also drain the blood from the pelvic muscles and reproductive organs into these veins. The other tributaries of vessels that deliver venous blood to the inferior vena cava and eventually the right atrium include number one, the renals, which deliver blood from the kidneys, number two, the suprarenals, which drain the suprarenal glands, number three, the phrenics, which drain the diaphragm, number four, the lumbars, which drain the spinal cord and body wall, number five, the gonadal veins, which drain the testes or ovaries, and number six, the hepatics, which collect blood from the liver. The venous blood flow from the organs and structures below the level of the diaphragm is delivered into the right atrium through the inferior vena cava. During digestion and absorption, blood with nutrients is delivered from the intestines to the liver for processing. The hepatic portal system includes the left colic, the splenic, and the inferior mesenteric on the left side of the body, and the superior mesenteric and right colic on the right. The liver is unique in that it's the only digestive organ drained by the inferior vena cava. The hepatic portal system transports blood from the capillary blood supplied by the celiac, superior mesenteric, and inferior mesenteric arteries. The name hepatic portal system comes from the word portal system, which is defined as two or more capillary beds connected by a blood vessel. The venous blood from the small intestine, part of the large intestine, stomach, and pancreas flow to the liver for processing. Once processed in the liver, the venous blood is delivered to the inferior vena cava through the hepatic veins.